Thursday, June 25th, near the Watcher's camp. We retreated from the river into chaos. There was no time to write until the following day, when we finally left the swamp for drier ground in the north. We held Soulblighter at the Giol long enough to let Ulrich spring his trap on the Watcher. Turned out I was right about those arrows. Ulrich had been working on them since we entered the marsh two weeks ago, and they were tipped with fragments of bone from the Watcher's arm. I sure wouldn't have wanted to get stuck with one, but apparently they turned the Watcher into stone, leaving him paralyzed and helpless. But he didn't die. Thirty berserks chosen to accompany the archers tore through the enemy and piled the bodies of the dead at the Watcher's feet, but all were killed before they could deliver the final blow. Rather than leave such a dangerous enemy behind us to be rescued, a hundred men have volunteered to return and smash him to fragments before help can arrive. You know, this doesn't really look like a hundred guys to me. Maybe some of them have fallen by the wayside. Well, we do have 18 zerks, which is nothing to sneeze at. Certainly a very respectable force. And our mission info says that we're supposed to find the Watcher, who's been petrified, and shatter him. So Zerk should be good at shattering. I have brought in some unit names here from the forum. Um, new to the Zerk Corps here is Gainpei Turtle. And you can see I've also got some names from our original uh, group of Zerks that were in the Tain mission. Now, a couple of the Zerks were were uh, trapped there at the end of the Tain mission, and one of them was killed, Brass Tassels, but we can just say that those names have been resurrected with honor by their families or something like that. So, welcome back, everybody. So we have um, Brass Tassels, Snurwadlo, and Rex Deckard, Cranny Socket, Sendai, the one devoid of name, and Morathar, along with Gainpei Turtle. So let's proceed through this marshy area here, and... Oh, wait a minute. There's our first encounter. Oh my, it is a thrall. Whatever shall I do? I guess they were just kind of... chilling out here in the swamp. Then all these rude barbarians came stomping through. I almost feel sorry for them. Not really, though. So we don't want to get our Zerks dinged up at this point, but realistically, about all these Thrall are going to give us our veterancy benefits. They might get in a few little attacks, but mostly they're just going to be too busy getting hit. So we'll just keep on doing what we're doing. Oh, come on now. Nice, nice little preset screw up there. So let's see, how bad did I hurt us there? Well, not really. I think I got cranny socket. A little bit less than ultra green, but whatever. Yeah. Forge head. I'm moving. And trailing thrall back there. probably take even less damage from these fights if I ultra micromanage to make sure that multiple zerks hit each thrall at the same time, but we have a long mission ahead of us and I have no patience for that sort of thing just yet. Let's go. Okay, we've hit the north end of the map and we'll swing around to the east. Over here. It looks like we've run out of marsh. So no more thrall pop-ups for the moment. Out here on dry ground we have some goals. Let's scout a bit. We can we can use our Zerks to scout with impunity. They're fast enough that 
Unless they meet a trow, they should be able to run away from anything bad. Hmm. So, speaking of bad things, there's a shade here, Cormorant. And let's yeah. give him some space. He's got a goal guard, and these are pus goals. Hopefully that doesn't spoil anything for anyone, but pus goals are going to be a big theme of this mission, for better or worse. So we're going to try to whittle down his goal guard a little bit. Now to help do this, we're going to yeah. try to take advantage of a bit of the Shade AI. The Shade does not want to use his Dispersal Dream if he doesn't see five or more targets. And we're going to see if we can lure him and his goal buddies back towards the water. The goals should kind of straggle along behind the shade and maybe give us a chance to clean them up. So, we have a little Let's expeditionary go. force out here. Then we'll try to get around kind of behind the shade and the goals. And we have our bait. And we have some backup for the bait here. If we now obviously we can't use this group if the shade is nearby, but if we have our bait being chased by a ton of goals, then they can come in handy. Yeah. We're keeping our expeditionary force to four units just in case the shade sees them. Yeah. Alright, it's the bait's job now to get the shade's attention. There we go. And may need to do a little dodging if there's any goals close enough to throw pus, but it doesn't look like there are. I'm moving. Now, on the other hand, these guys are in danger of being pussed. Over here. Die, fools. So we'll just have to hope they can take care of themselves. Alright. Over here. Shell, let's go. Now we want our expeditionary force to get out of the way of the shade. Let's route them through the water, since the shade doesn't like that. Alright, very good. Let's bring everybody back over here and consider our next move. So it's time for Operation Shade Pincer. We are going to take advantage of another little bit of shade psychology, which is that they're bloodthirsty bastards. If you allow them to get in a hit on one of you, then he will uh, chase that unit trying to get another hit. He'll kind of be in melee mode and not be real interested in using his dispersal dream. So we're going to bring out another fresh piece of bait here, Snurl Wadlow, and... Let's break our remaining Zerks into two groups. Yeah. Sort of a hammer and anvil here. Once the Shade's attention is locked on Snur Wadlow, we should be able to bring up these larger groups and crunch him yeah. without being in danger of getting Dispersal Dreamed. So let's send out our bait and see where the Shade is at the moment. Okie doke. Let's go! So Snurbodlo is going to have to take a hit from the shade for this to work. Probably two hits. It's hard to just get one. There we go. Over here. All right, th through the gauntlet with you. I'm moving. I'll do it. Oh, he. Uh, mm hmm. He didn't really stay focused on Snurwada there. At least he didn't break out the Dispersal Dream. Casualty. But we didn't get all our Zerks on him in time, so we lost a unit. Well, them's the breaks. We still have 17 fairly healthy guys, so we will press on. And let's break back up into three groups. I'm moving. Too bad we can't pick up those dispersal dreams and use them ourselves. Those would be handy little things. Hmm. More pus this way. Alright, let's go out through the area that the Shade was patrolling and take a look at this hill. Seems like there's going to be some badness here waiting for us. Yeah, pus skulls. And some solace. 
Okay, I think let's move up just a little bit more. Over here. And uh, let's take the rabble formation, just in case we get a spear or a missile chucked at us. Over here. Did they notice us yet? Hard to say. At least they're not coming this direction. Let's take our other squad and see if we can go around behind. I would like to do a couple things, one of which is get these goals to waste some pus. And the other of which is to just kind of, um, yeah. eh, bugger, is to get behind this big group so that we can attack them from multiple sides. Over here. Another goal, trying to be sneaky over there. Let's see if we can encourage him to waste whatever he's carrying. There we go, very good. I like it when the goals get it into their heads that they need to pick something up. It makes them easy to catch. Okay, let's keep moving our first squad around here. Still a considerable amount of Puskols over there. Let's see if we can antagonize them. Problem is, to do that, we need to get close enough to antagonize the Solus, too. And that's not a winning proposition, maybe. Oh, geez, I'm getting hit from... Is that just a goal throwing something at me? I think so. Okay, well, these guys are wasting a lot of their stuff. Let's, um, maybe time to engage. Unfortunately, my other units are really far away. make them out of this pretty okay. Uh, one, one remaining goal. That's always always annoying to deal with since we're not fast enough to run him down. Let's see if we can kind of trap him. Otherwise he may tag along behind us and throw stuff at us. Possibly including pus packets. Where's he going? I'm moving. All right, good. Let's go. Well, we're still only one zerk down, but we did take some interesting damage there to Rex Deckard and the one devoid of name. Could be much worse though. Well, I probably shouldn't say that. Don't want to. Don't want to get jinxed. All right, we have another incoming goal here. Let's pay attention to him. Two incoming goals. Hmm. Ah, just carrying a cleaver. Yeah. Get him. Where he was going, we may never know. Alright, that's it for this encounter. Let's form up and see what's next. More of the same. Puskols and Solus. And we're kind of against the edge of the map down here, I think. No? Might be able to sneak around that side. 
Let's see if we can get just a little bit closer. Yeah. All right, these guys are not don't appear to be in the mood to let us sneak around. We may just need to charge in there. First, I want to see what they have in the way of pus. Oh, there's that answer. Get back up. Casualty. Casualty. Well, definitely took some took some hurt in there. Casualty. Well, hmm. Oh, that's good. So we're we've uh, yeah. lost five of our guys, but we just received six. So hey, we're in the black. Let's make these guys designate these guys a new squad one. This is a mission that would really benefit from being able to pause because then you can micromanage your Zerks as much as you want. You can individually target each Berserk. But rules are rules, so there will be no pausing from me. Let's go. My goal really is just to keep the casualties in single digits here. I'm moving. Otherwise I'll be practicing this one for a long time. So let's Let's use our new squad one and yeah. move out in this direction and see what's next. Yeah. Got something on the walls over here. Hmm. Solus. Solus guarding something interesting, which probably means that we need to go that way. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. We just had some teleportees come in here, a shade and his goal guard. Oh boy. So let's give him some room. Over here. Let's see. This guy is Mazarin. It's an interesting name. I think if you remember from the Thrall text, Mazarin was an ancient hero who was defeated by the Watcher. If this is the same guy, then he's come down in the world a bit. Let's go. He ah oh, jeez, getting close. He's he's not busting out a dispersal dream though, and he's he's damaged. So I think maybe yeah. he's just teleported in from getting his ass kicked somewhere. So he'll probably be an easier kill than Cormorant. Uh, I don't want him to chew on my red guys. I want him to look at my green group. I want to use my oranger groups to deal with the goals here. Over here. Come on. Look, look, look at these guys. Look how close they are. Follow them. There we go. Oh, well, now he's going to follow them for sure. Okay. Yeah, the problem here is really the pus goals. So we'll hopefully be able to head them off the pass. Oh, well, maybe not. I got him. Casualty. Ow, 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 ow. New units received. Okay, don't chase him. I'm moving. Shell. So, how many are we down now? 16, so I believe that means we've lost 8 Zerks. My, my goal of single digit losses is not looking too feasible here. We did get 4 additions way out here on the edge of the map. Not sure how they got all the way over here. And looks like we have... So this is the plateau that was guarded by Solus that we saw earlier. So looks like we're going to have to just kind of take our hits like men and fight our way up that ramp there. 
Let's bring our remaining units over here to join them. Okay. So this first group is not going to be much of a problem. Let's just set up seven Zerks here to charge them. We're going to do our best emulation of multi-Zerk micromanagement. Instead of using the pause screen, we'll just use lots and lots of presets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did I miss one? No. Okay. Piece of cake. Let's go. Eirik got a little beaten up in that run. Let's bring everybody up here and oh my goodness, look at that. We have a big old pile of red dots on this side of the plateau. Uh, so it looks like we have seven, thirteen, twenty-one solus. More Puskols. So the non-solus here are in fact guarding the Watcher. That's the guy we've come to shadow. Uh, shatter. Apparently he's also known as the Mad Goat of the Fins. More like the mad pincushion of the fans now. Look at all those arrows. So these, these solos are going to be a tougher nut to crack than that first group of seven. Let's see how many green zerks we have to deal with them. I, one thing I would like to avoid is attracting the attention of too many of the puskulls. Probably unavoidable that we're going to be hit by some of them. What I'd like to do is just kind of get in there, clean out, as many solace as we can and then regroup to see what the Puskulls are doing. If we kind of clump up too much and start attacking the the center guard willy-nilly then the Pus will really hurt. So let's set up for another attack on the Solus. Oh, too close. Over here. Still too close. Jeez, you guys are nervous, aren't you? All right, we'll do our same little presets trick. And the whole group will be eight, in case I need to recall them. All right, have at you. Out comes the pus. Oh! Casualty. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Alright, you guys, back off, back off. Everybody back off. Let's see, we need a... Anybody left that's good and green? Well, maybe you will do. Need to take care of that last solace. Okay. Let's go. Yikes. Well, at least we're discharging a lot of the pus there from the center group. Over here. Come on. Time to take one last examination of our Zerks and get rid of that center guard. How many do we have to work with here? 19. Should be more than enough. So the only question really then is just how do we minimize casualties? Alright, that's enough. That's enough fiddling with Zerks. That's not too exciting, is it? So we have 12 left. So let's just break them up into three groups of four. And we'll we'll do this thing. I'm moving. Yeah. He's mine. Over here. Right. 
Don't die. Get back up. Whew. Get back up. <laughs> I don't want to lose brass tassels twice. That would be embarrassing. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Now all we have left is the Watcher. So, since our strategy this whole time has been centered around uh, using the greenest Zerks, we'll have the greenest remaining Zerk here, Bram. Well, no, I don't know. Let's see, who do who have we got that's in fairly good condition as far as forum dudes are concerned? None over there. None in our walking wounded, our names from the forum. All right. Let's go. Well, if he if he explodes or something, brass tassels, you're probably going to bite it here, but that's just too bad. Okay, so our surviving uh, customized zerks are brass tassels, snow Radlow, and cranny socket. We'll give them the honor. I've got him. All right. Good old myth certainly does have some missions that beat you up. And the Watcher, the Watcher is one that jumps you in a dark alley and works you over with a pillowcase full of doorknobs. That's pretty tough stuff. I had practiced each of the individual fights in this mission uh, a few times before starting the recording. And then my first attempt with the cameras running, that's actually what you just saw, believe it or not. I was surprised that it came together so well. I know that I can do most of those fights better. What I'm unsure about is what the odds are of me stringing them all together into another complete mission. I did try a few more times, and you'll, you'll actually be seeing the results of my second attempt here in a few seconds. But, um... There's some, there are some tricky tactics in this mission, but what kind of stands out about it to me is that it's got a really high ceiling for execution. Uh, you could probably practice this one a long time and keep improving. I believe, though, that for the sake of my sanity and to keep this Let's Play rolling along, I'm just going to quit while I'm ahead. Let's go ahead and take what we got here. I did manage to hit my goal of single-digit casualties, just barely. And, hey, you know, we, we shattered the Watcher. That's pretty major. Let's go ahead and move on to the next level with our heads held high. Let's go. Over here. I move and Casualty. 